Strader. Good Sunday morning to you and welcome to Focus on South Florida this week. I'm Jawan Strader. A South Florida program is helping people with disabilities and other life challenges find real world careers. The ARC Broward Culinary Institute teaches restaurant and catering skills and gives its graduates employment opportunities. And now you can help the Institute and its students through a program of very special dinners. Joining me now is Kelly Alvarez Vitale. She's a founder of the Traveling Plate Special Dinners that benefit ARC Broward's Culinary Institute. And she's also president of Strategic Phil Philanthropy Incorporated. Wow, that's a big one. That is a big name. <laughs> <laughs> that's a big one right there. Well, let's talk a little bit more about ARC Broward exactly sure. and, and, and what, what it exactly it does for, for people out there. Sure. So ARC Broward is an organization that helps individuals uh, with disabilities and has various programmings to kind of assist them through, you know, through life and so forth. Uh, where we're really kind of focused on is on their culinary program. Okay. Uh, their culinary program, it gives an opportunity for these individuals with intellectual disabilities and or life challenges. So anybody that was homeless, um, has been kind of put out by the economy, et cetera, um, to kind of go through a 16 week course where they will um, have the opportunity to learn how to become a chef and then go out to be productive citizens of the community. What type of background are you talking about? Uh, those people that are homeless, those people that are single mothers, uh, what type of people do you do you work with? Uh, I think we work with all sorts of individuals. You know, we really have an open door policy. Uh, we take, I believe, 16 students per semester. Um, so there, there is an application process and there is a fee that goes along uh, with going through the program. But you know, anybody that has an intellectual disability, anybody that's just kind of had been put out with life, uh, we really want to be there to support them and give them the life skills to change their lives. And we were just talking off camera and more than 70 graduates so far Correct. through the program. Correct. And what are they saying about what they've learned and, and being given a second chance at sure. life? Sure. You know, I think when you have the opportunity to morph yourself into something else and um, have the opportunity to kind of just change your life, it's a, it's a plus. So when you get to learn a skill and go out there and, and execute that skill and really be productive citizens, I think they're grateful for the opportunity and for the programming that was offered to them at ARC. But you also want other people out there to get involved. Yes. <laughs> so the concept, uh, the concept that we're doing, it's called the traveling plate. And what a lot of people don't know is that ARC has this culinary institute that individuals can go out and hire and have them cater an event, et cetera. Um, so as a way to have this, you know, to really showcase this program, mm -hmm. we are uh, developing an underground dinner series kind of club. Um, so where we will have uh, different dinners at, at various venues throughout Broward County. Uh, dinners will be between 30 to 50 people. And uh, the, the students and the chefs of the Culinary Institute will actually cater the, the actual meal. So if you love food and you love getting to know people and you really want to support a great cause, people can come to our dinners. A great cause that goes towards scholarships. A great cause that does go towards scholarships. <laughs> so dinner, the way the dinners are set up um, are very similar to a restaurant. You would kind of choose us versus a restaurant option. Um, and those proceeds from the dinner will then go towards a scholarship fund for an individual who cannot afford to go through the program. How happy are some of the graduates and some of the people? What has been the response? I mean, to go through the program when you felt that there was not a place you could turn, right. especially in these hard economic times, you felt that you maybe had even given up on some form of life. Uh, you lost your job. Uh, maybe you're coming back from the war right. and, and you're looking for a place to turn. And then you find out that there's this way I can become a chef right. with the help of those in the community. So to hear from the people, from those soldiers, from the, the people right. that, that, that got this chance, I mean, are they just enthusiastic, excited? Right. Do they feel overwhelmed with joy? You know, when we've had the opportunity to tour the facility and actually meet you know, all of the students. It is, it is kind of like a gratitude, like thank you for giving me a second chance. Thank you for kind of being, you know, having this opportunity. Um, so it seems like they're grateful. And then I guess, you know, the, the next part will be once they kind of transition into, into, their role, into their next role. They find a job in a kitchen or at, you know, at a venue, et cetera. I think that's when you feel the most, you know, when they're just most excited because it's one thing to go through a training program, it's another to have that training program assist you into finding a job. And I think at this point in the game, people are thrilled to have jobs. And Kelly, right now I'm watching, I'm at home, I'm desperate. I've lost my job. I'm looking for work. I'm looking for that support group. Sure. I'm interested. Okay. What, what do I do? 
Okay. Um, I believe you all have a phone number. I'm hoping you'll list it, <laughs> <laughs> list it below. Yes, we will. Uh, but you, will, uh, you can definitely call ARC and they will put you in contact uh, with the individuals in the Culinary Institute if you want to go through that program and apply for it. And that number is 954 746 9400. There it is on the screen. Thank for you. Everyone <laughs> out there, 954 746 9400 to find out more information on how they can get involved. And what about those volunteers out there that you're asking? Because I believe you're asking those maybe uh, band, uh, DJs. Sure. Uh, uh, you're just asking all those that want to help to go ahead and help out and get involved as Correct. well. Correct. So with the traveling plate, as I mentioned, we're, we're going to be going uh, to different venues to actually host these dinners. So if individuals have a, a, a venue that they'd like to underwrite or kind of allow us to come in, if, uh, if they're a band uh, musician or they have a band or they're, mm -hmm. some sort of entertainment, we always want to add that to the aspect of the dinner. So they can either contact us on our website, uh, which is travelingplateftl.com. Um, or they can follow us on Facebook at The Traveling Plate or at Twitter. And you were talking about that. No, I didn't mean to cut you off. No. You were talking about Facebook and Twitter before we started this Correct. and the importance of social media. Right. Real fast, the importance of it and, sure. and why you want people out there to join Facebook, uh, join your page, right. and, and also follow you on Twitter. Uh, with the whole Underground Supper Club series, it's kind of like that is the way that they kind of communicate. You know, it's not going to be these blasts of newsletter, newsletters. So we really want people to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and all of the social media sites so that when we announce dinners and we announce part of the secrets of it, people will be first to know. Let's get to the date right here. The Traveling Plate Inaugural Underground Dinner, Wednesday, February 8th, 2000. Whoa, 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 it says 2010 here. Hold on, I'm looking at the Should be 2012. 2012. Okay, I'm looking at the wrong date. That's my notes right there. I apologize. Ally Kitchen and Bath Showroom, 616 West Oakland Park Boulevard. That's Fort Lauderdale. And the information is on your screen. Also, the number 954-746-9400 for all of those looking to get involved. Also, if you just want help, if you want to learn how to become a chef. Yes. I well, love it. Become a chef will take you. <laughs> I love it. All right. Kelly Alvarez Vitelli, thank you so much. Thank you. It was we a wish pleasure. you guys the very best. Thank you so much for having us. All right.